Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2019 battle series. We are here today, it is Friday, we're ending the week with this Kurum White Sogaleo team. So yesterday, if you missed yesterday's episode, I would highly recommend going and checking it out. I'll put a card up here for you lovely people to go back and watch that because we had the wacky changes yesterday and I said on Wednesday's episode we would make some changes on Thursday but then come back to a final build on Friday so here is the final build we've had a, a short amount of games to really kind of fully test the team but I feel it's at a place where it's quite nice to pick up and take on to the battle spot ladder tweak it a little bit further like I say if I had more games with this team I think we could really eventually get to a really good place with it but over the eight games that we've had with it over the last two weeks I feel like we've not done too bad it's been some ups some downs it's been really exciting and uh, it's been a lot of fun so I hope you guys have enjoyed it leave your comments down below to let me know what you think of the team and as always the paste for this final version is in the description along with the roll paste the polka paste and I will put a QR code up on Twitter over the weekend so if you want to grab that follow me on Twitter as Osiris VGC is my handle over there so without further ado let's get into today's episode hopefully we give the team a good send off let's get some music on and um, also if you enjoy this sort of content make sure you do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these daily battle series and also all of our guides our stream uploads and all the other VGC content that we have on the channel and also leave your comments down below because I love hearing from you guys more than anything. So, yes, please do that. But we've got a first opponent. Again, it's getting quicker finding opponents now, isn't it? So, first opponent, Brendan, is playing a team of Xerneas, Incineroar, Gengar, Venusaur, Groudon, and Serena. So, double grass types in this team. One of them very threatening for us because it can put us to sleep. It can take advantage of the sun with that chlor chlorophyll ability, which is brought on by the sun with Groudon. We've got the restricted parent of Groudon Xerneas. Um, I think, like we've seen quite a few times over the last two weeks, that this team, is it's a bit of a double-edged sword. Like We've got the Curum that deals with the Groudon, but then the Xerneas checks the Curum. The Sogaleo checks the Xerneas. It's kind of like a roundabout, isn't it? But the one thing that we can say is that now we've built this Curum to take at least a Moonblast from the uh, opposing Xerneas, which gives us a bit of a better time. Um, we have to be careful if we're taking advantage of our fake out support because of that Serena there um, and the Gengar as well because it can't be faked out. So what are we going to do here? Um, I do worry about the potential Xerneas lead. Um, hundred percent, but we do have Sogaleo that we can we can take advantage of here. I think Sogaleo Tapu Fini is not bad. Um, one of the things that we could do there, Tapu Fini really is useful here. Um, the other thing is against this team, it's quite nice to lead off with Incineroar as well. So you've got that fake out pressure to begin with for the at least Venusaur um, Groudon lead, and I think I'm going to lock in with Incineroar Tapu Fini. Curum White and Sogaleo. So, here we go. I'm going to be sad to see this team go. I really am. I've had so much fun with it um, playing it. And yesterday's episode was a real refreshing kind of break from playing this team all week. Um, but yes, and I will just again just give each and every one of you who have commented, suggested things over the last couple of weeks a big shout out because everything that you've all suggested has been amazing and uh, all stuff I would take into consideration going forward with the team if we had more time to test. But unfortunately we'll be moving to a new team next week so um, we'll be saying goodbye to Curum today. <laughs> I'm only joking, I won't really cry. We're going to see the Groudon, the Venus will come up for my opponent, the lead that we were kind of a little bit afraid of. Now that the, the um, we have to be a little bit careful because the Groudon can Precipice Blades. Um, but the one thing that we could do is just get an icy wind off now. It's going to be quite nice for us. Um, and potentially just fake out the Groudon. Ooh, yeah, I mean, the Groudon, the Precipice Blades, the Tectonic Rage is a bit threatening for us. So we're going to see... Incineroar switch straight in for the Groudon. Uh, we will get a fake out off, but the Venusaur is likely just to protect here, I think, um, because of the risk of breaking its sash. Um, and there we go, yeah. So, um, indicating that it is sashed as well. We'll get the fake out onto this Incineroar. And an icy wind. Um, it's not really going to help us too much because Incineroar is so slow anyway, but I mean, 
the little bit of chip damage is always very useful at the same time. Um, now we do pressure Venusaur quite heavily here. We've got to be a bit careful of the potential um, fake out here. But at the same time, I think um, I kind of want a U-turn as well if we can U-turn out onto this Venusaur rather than um, flare blitz it but flare blitzing would be super nice just to make sure we get rid of it I do feel like we'll probably see um, I could potentially as well one of the things that I could do now I think about it is actually switch in Sogaleo for Tapu Fini um, and flare blitz the Venusaur because I think one of the things that my opponent will probably want to do this turn is sludge bomb that Tapu Fini try and get rid of it it is the one thing kind of disrupting their side of the field right now as a sludge bomb into that Slugalea slot and um, we do get the flare blitz off I can't imagine we're gonna see um, a flare blitz from the Incineroar into that type of thing it doesn't make a lot of sense we'll probably just see a u-turn if anything I would imagine and there is the u-turn and this is why I, I felt like maybe the u-turns not such a bad idea because now we're gonna see Groudon come back onto the field <coughs> and it does cause a lot of pressure straight away onto our Sogaleo and Incineroar but we do have the wide guard which my opponent doesn't know about just yet they're probably expecting it to a certain extent um, I am gonna wide guard here um, and I'm gonna just u-turn out on Groudon because if anything the Venusaur probably protects here but it might attack it might go for a sludge bomb now nah, the Venusaur gonna Going to switch out in so we're gonna hit the field again, cycle levels intimidates, but not gonna affect Sogaleo because of the full metal body that we've got there. Only our Incineroar. Um so hopefully we just see a Presbus Blaze. If we see a Z move then Ooh, things get a lot trickier because losing Sogaleo right now, there's a the Presbus Blades, that's perfect for us. Perfect. Now we can get this U-turn in, and then we can get Curamin onto the field now I think because it starts putting a lot of pressure onto that Groudon um, we've got to be a bit careful with Sogaleo this next turn because we've just wide guarded we can't really go for um, a protect here because there's a chance it fails and if it fails then if we see a tech rage especially we could be in a lot of trouble um, I think out of everything that we've got I'd rather sack Incineroar um, and I'm just going to protect Kyurem because I feel like Kyurem's the one thing right now that you do you do fake out <clears throat> and this kind of works out alright like not too bad if we can get Incineroar and Incineroar goes down because you can get Sogaleo back in potentially pick up a knockout onto that um, Incineroar the next turn and then well, there's the protect from ourselves Groudon protecting ha huh. what if we're gonna see a u-turn then from this opposing Incineroar there it is it's into our Incineroar hmm it's interesting because we've got the we've got the fake out this next turn and if Venusaur comes in then a Groudon super 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 threatened that is the Zern. Is the Zernius. Okay. I expect that Groudon to switch out anyway. And Incineroar to come in. Um, 100%. Um, hmm. We could keep Kyurem in. But if we do that, it doesn't really help us going into the next turn. At all. Um, I'm going to bring Sogaleo in. But if I do that, then I feel like I should probably fake out the Groudon. Um, but I just don't think the Groudon stays in against Kieran White. Nah, definitely not. I think it switches out. And I think my opponent's trying to adjust to get that board position where they've got Incineroar and Xerneas out on the field. Yeah, there we go. And then the Incineroar coming in. We know this all too well, my friends. We know this all too well. This is this is always the thing that like if you're new to VGC, one of the things that's really like beneficial for you going forward is trying to just predict these next turns because we could have kept the Curum in there, we could have went for the Z move, and then this turn we're in a horrible position because we've got nothing to help us against 
the fake out geomancy and then from there it becomes very difficult for us to do pretty much anything whereas now we've not got two bad options we've got the snarl that we can take advantage of um, and then we've got the sunsteel strike that we can take advantage of as well we'll probably get faked out into the sogalel but at the same time <clears throat> we'll be around next turn to go for that um, sunsteel strike again but then we probably see the incineral switch out for the Groudon, so it makes me want to potentially bring in. Hmm, it's tricky. It's tricky because you want to bring in Kurum, but then Kurum's in a real spot where it can't actually protect the Sogaleo against the Groudon. But it's always going to be good to get Incineroar out this next turn because it'll be good to have the Intimidate to cycle back in if that is the case. If we can take I don't know if we can take but like to me I think the Xerneas protects here so I could get a U-turn off 100% but the Xerneas might not protect as well um, which could be just as bad for us so I'm going to bring in Finny it's able to take an attack at least and I'm going to Sunsteel Strike again into that Xerneas slot And we could even see just a double up into Sogaleo. We could see a Moonblast and a knockoff. But there, there it is. There it is. Oh, it's a Venusaur coming in. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna try and get take advantage of those sleep, sleepy turns. Uh, does Xerneas just protect here? Like I don't mind if it doesn't. Yeah, of course it does. Of course you do. Hmm. But I don't want to pull the trigger on bringing this Incineral back in just yet. Like, we'll probably lose Finny here. Um, so I could potentially get an Icy Wind off, which is going to be quite nice for the Venusaur in particular. Um, or I could Swagger. But because my Tapu Finny isn't faster than my Soga Leo, and because I wanted to meet certain defensive benchmarks, like in, if we were faster than than Sogaleo, I'd probably go for the. I'd be more inclined to go for the Swagger. So that's one thing you could look at with the team. We're going to see a Moonblast. It's going to be into Sogaleo. There's a Grass Knot. It's into Finny. Oh, it's into Sogaleo as well. Ha. Huh. Well, so could have went for that. Um, hmm. Problem here is if the Sunsteel Strike doesn't take out the Xerneas. We will take down the Venusaur and it opens the door for either the Incineroar to come in with its fake out support or the Groudon which pressures uh, Sogaleo. And we just miss it. Ah, oh, so painful and this Icy Wind is not going to be enough but it will take the Venusaur down so we take a little lead there. Mm. We still got to worry about the Tectonic Rage because we haven't seen a Z move from my opponent yet and I would presume, I would presume it's on the Groudon. Hmm. It's Incineroar coming in. Okay. Hmm. Right. I think what we'll do is we will Nature's Madness the Incineroar. And we will just protect with Sogaleo. I mean. Yeah, we've got to protect with Sogaleo. We can't risk the... I mean, we could Icy Wind again. Like... But we're not really gaining anything by that. But with the Nature's Madness into the Incineroar, if we can get that off, then it does allow us the opportunity to pick up the knockout on that, guaranteed with the superpower, the next turn, if we would like to do that. This has been a long game. A long game. Or it feels like it has been a long game. Okay, we're gonna see the Xerneas protect here. We're gonna just see a U-turn, I think, on to the Tapu Fini. I imagine that's what we'll see. Yeah, there's the Nature's Madness. Which is still useful onto that Incineroar. Also, if we can get rid of that Xerneas, what happens is we can definitely pick it up with an Earth Power now from Curum late game. So Curum can kind of win this game itself if we can just get rid of this Xerneas, which is the big thing.
Okay, so tectonic rage incoming, I would imagine now. It's whether or not this Groudon's faster than our Sogaleo. <sighs> it probably is, you know. Looking at the team con like, like the composition of the team, there's no speed control outside of possibly Gengar with icy wind. So it would indicate that maybe this is a faster Groudon. Um, one of the things I could do is Icy Wind and switch in Incineroar. Get the Intimidate off. Kind of bait the Tectonic Rage into that slot from the Groudon. Moonblast. This will probably be into... Yeah, Incineroar. Okay. Well, this means now if Groudon does go for that tectonic rage oh it goes for fire punch means we get an icy wind off though hasn't pulled the trigger on the z move yet that Xerneas is getting slower we still don't take it down but one more icy wind will get it though right so Galeo definitely outspeeds that crowd on now right I didn't expect the fire punch mustn't have the Mustn't have the Z move. Mustn't have the Z move. Um, I think Xerneas protects here. I'm just gonna icy wind again because if we can get one more icy wind off onto the Xerneas, I'll probably knock it out. But like, if it does manage to hang on by the even further skin of its teeth, then it means Sogala will outspeed it the following turn. Um, Finny's quite open here to, yeah, the Xerneas gonna protect. That makes a lot of sense protect and then the next turn we can get <clears throat> Xerneas do some nice chip to the ground on as well you could see the tectonic ridge here that could be bad because that could put us into oh we're actually seeing a substitute oh okay that's interesting like a sub is like I mean it's still minus one it's not got a berry, and now we can um, get rid of this this Xerneas. And I think I'm pretty confident that Kurum can clean this game up by itself now. He says, "If the Xerneas gets a double protect here, then ah, we're screwed." Because my opponent knows that we can't go for the wide guard and attack Xerneas at the same time, so. Double Protect here is probably their best player getting it and then wiping out Sogaleo. Okay, so we're just going to see a Moonblast. Be smarter into the Finny, I think, though, rather than anything else. Sogaleo takes it pretty comfortably. Uh, we do get the Sunsteel Strike. Take this thing down. If an Icy Wind can get the Brick, the Gengar's... Um, the, the Gengar. What am I talking about? I've got Gengar on the brain today. If the Tapu Finny can break... The Groudon substitute. That is brilliant. That sets everything up perfectly for the next game. We're probably going to see a, 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 a Precipice Blaze. Maybe a Fire Punch. It's more reliable here. It breaks. It fades. Oh, that's so good for us. And the Fire Punch. Yeah, just more reliable. Um, and yeah, is enough to take us down. How dare you crit us? But Sogaleo's done its job. And uh, revealing the Life Orb there on the ground it's probably revealed way earlier but I'm just spotting it now so no Z move which is interesting um, but the incident all coming back in uh, and we can just icy wind once more with Tapu Fin um, yeah and I think just earth power the incident there's no need to protect Kurum here uh, you can fake out Kurum if you like but we're bulky enough and going to be faster than everything anyway. So, yeah, we just want to get rid of the Incineroar right now. And then the Groudon's easy to get rid of after that. So, team doing really well. Again, uh, maneuvering around exactly like it needs to. Uh, we bring in both Restricted, so we're ticking the boxes there. Um, and the Restricted's both putting in a lot of work in this match. Um, Tapu Fini performing amazingly well. Oh, the Icy Wind misses and Precipice Blades coming out. Tapu Fini avoids because it's just a ninja. Ninja, ninja. Um, Kira, I'm taking that. 
like a champ though. And there's the life orb recall. So we don't even need another turn, but very good game to my opponent. What a great game to kick us off today. So hopefully we can um, we can build on this and give the Curum team an absolutely amazing send off in our next episode. Not our next episode, our next match. Where's my mind? Where is my mind today? But yeah, oh, just yeah, really nice way for us to kick off. That's all I've got to say on that. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to um, to find the next opponent. But like I was saying, as we're getting into our first game, the battle spot seems to be a lot more busy now, which is really good. Um, I do, like at the start of the, the Moon series, it, it was taking forever to find any opponents at all. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot better now. Like this, like magic, we've got our next opponent. So we'll go straight into team preview, my friends. And my opponent playing a team of, ooh, here we go. Here's one for the Nihiligo straight away. We've got ho -Oh, Kyogre, Ludicolo, Landorus, Theory in form, Tepacoco, and Alolan Raichu. So, uh, the restricted combination ho -Oh, Kyogre. It's a pairing I really like quite a lot. You've got the Ludicolo there, really synergizes super well with ho -Oh, um, and pairs so nicely with Kyogre with that rain up. Um, you've got the Landorus for the Intimidate support. It's got the whole oh, that it can sit next to an Earthquake quite freely. And then that speedy, speedy combination of Tapu Koko and Alolan Raichu. I wonder where the Z move is on here. I would kind of, if I'm guessing, one of four maybe, one of five. It could be on any of these Pokemon. I kind of want to say it's on the Raichu because you get the, the paralysis um, with it, which is pretty nice. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, Nihiligo, like I said, though, is very good here. Destroys the Hot Orc can do decent work against the Kyogre. Does really well against the Ludi. Uh, just got to watch out a little bit for that Landorus and the Alolan Raichu. But Curum does pretty nicely against those two. So, how are we going to set up against this team? Mm, we haven't got much time. Let's go Curum and Tapu Fini. Let's go Nihiligo. And do we want Sogaleo here? Probably not. Let's bring Serena. Am I bringing Serena? I am bringing Serena. Yes, we are bringing Serena. The Queenly Majesty could be very good turn one for us. That's all I'm thinking of. And it's a way for us to actually hit Kyogre for good damage. Outside of that, it's not doing a great deal. But you never know, I might put in a shift of its life in this match. Tapu Koko Raichu coming out for my opponent, that's fine. Um, it's nice being able to lead that Tapu Fini here, just to get rid of the, the electric terrain, which is set up now by that Tapu Koko. Um, and one of the things we probably are better off doing right now is switching out Tapu Fini. Uh, so we've got the terrain to bring in later on to overwrite the electric terrain when it comes back in. And um, also, have a nice switch in for Kyogre, which is bound to come in at some point. I'm going to Earth Power into the Raichu. Um, and I'm going to bring in Serena. Because it's likely we see the Raichu fake out this turn. Tapu Koko likely to pivot out. Um, and if we can block that fake out and get rid of the Raichu, that's a big advantage turn one for us going into the next few turns. Limiting my opponent's options to switch their restricted round, which you would imagine they've got on the back, being the Kyogre ho -Oh. So, and Serena's bulky enough to take a combination of electric type attacks. Just gonna brush them off. Easy. There's a fake out. There we go. Queenly Majesty. You cannot, sir. Uh, Use that uh, and doesn't gleam. Interesting option there on the top of Coco. We'll get the Earth Power into the Raichu. And we will pick up a clean knockout there, which is very nice for us to kind of start, like I say. I'd imagine the Ho or to come in now. Hmm. We can try a calculation. Oh, I don't know if we actually get it though. Now, on the original Curum build that we had, it was a lot more offensive, but a helping hand, a Sinium Z versus a Ho-O, we got it every time. So it'll be a roll, and it depends on the build of this Ho-O. Now, I am so tempted, I mean so tempted, to go for this, into this Ho-O right now. Um, but we could play a little bit safer, uh, for sure. 
but at the same time that coco has got to be feeling a little bit threatened from the uh, from the earth power I'm gonna go for it it's the last episode we're gonna we're gonna check it out we're gonna see this help in hand I'm gonna see if we can get a hot all with this I mean this is incredible we're seeing the tap of coco protect you we're probably gonna see a tailwind anything on the hot all. but here we go climb the mountain the ice is on I've got my I've got my whiskey get my ice cure him throw it in let's see come on please get this please get this this would be incredible this would be the best way to end this this episode today come on come on come on come on yes come on <laughs> this is incredible Kieran White is an absolute beast <laughs> I can't believe that. That is awesome. <laughs> and it's Landerus. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> no Kyoga to this matchup. My opponent's like, what was that? Okay. Here we go. Guys, I hope you appreciate that. I, w I wish I could pipe that up even more, but that is that is amazing. That's all we need to do for this last episode. Uh, we'll Earth Power into the Tapu Koko uh, and... I mean, what do we do? We could just power whip into the Landorus. We'd probably see a double up, to be honest, um, which is a little bit annoying because we don't have really any speed control and we need to preserve this Curum so we, we're not losing the game. Um, Tectonic Rage could be definitely on this uh, Landorus, though. That's that's like my little worry. I'm going to go for Blind Blizzard, thinking that it's not Scarfed, and I'm going to go for a power whip into the Landorus as well. Hopefully it's not Scarfed Landorus. If it's Scarfed Landorus, it has to lock into Rock Slide. It doesn't look like it's Scarfed. All we need is a Blizzard to hit. All we need is the Blizzard. Come on, Kieran, don't let us down. Ooh, it's actually jolly. It's jolly. Oh, the Kieran survives. Kieran takes it. No. Oh, we flinch. Oh, double flinch. That's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Um, with no speed control, because we haven't got the type of Finny out on the field, it makes it a little bit difficult, but we can we can totally maneuver ourselves around this. I'm going to bring in uh, Nihiligo now, because I imagine you will see another Rock Slide, Dazzling Gleam, and I'm going to just... Should I pivot out, or should I just... I think... Brrr, let's go for a Power Whip into Landris. Dazzling Gleam should just proc a barrier on Serena. Nihiligo will be in a position this next turn to actually take down the Coco. I can't imagine we're going to see an Earthquake here. Yeah, there's a Berry. And Serena. And I didn't want to really U-turn here because... Oh, Stone Edge. Dang. But... Oh, come on. Serena. Um, I'm going to protect Nihiligo. And I think, I think, I think, I think. What are we going to do? Because um, I think the Coco protects here. And I'm going to bring in Tapu Fini. Uh, we're bringing in the Fini though as the Misty Terrain ends. But I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point anyway. Because we've overwritten the Electric Terrain. All we need is one, one Icy Wind. One Icy Wind. That's all we need. with Tapu Fini. We may be better off you turning with, with Serena here into the Landorus. Because we could potentially see Protect Coco Earthquake. But I mean if that happens then we get the Coco the next turn. Okay. Lando protecting. I'm gonna go Thunder into Nihiligo. Okay. I'd like to keep Nihiligo, if I'm completely honest. I'd really like to keep Nihiligo. Um, although, I think a Sludge Bomb straight into the Coco now is going to be pretty nice. Coco probably protects, though. I don't know if it does. It would make sense if the Coco protected, like 100%. I'm going to bring in Serena. I'm going to keep Nihiligo. And I'm going to go for an Icy Wind. Because I think Coco protects BC Earthquake. That's what I would imagine right now. All we need is one Icy Wind though. Like a Thunderbolt Earthquake could be 
Thunder. Tapu Fini avoids. That's amazing. Here's a Z move. Where's this into? Is it into Tapu Fini? We should take it. Oh, not, no. Unintimidated, we don't. My opponent's probably identified that this is the one thing that can really disrupt their, their team with Icy Wind. Hopefully it's into the Nihiligo. No, it's not. It's into Finny. I don't know if we're going to take this. Come on, Finny. Don't let the team down this episode. We take it like a champ. Let's get this Icy Wind off. The Thunder missing there is pretty big for us. But, I mean, it's out of range, so it does have um, not the best of times. Okay, that's perfect. And now the scene is set for Kurum and Nihiligo to come in. We don't need to do anything else now. Um, we've seen the Z move as well. I'm just going to feint the Landorus and I'm going to go for another Icy Wind. I get Thunder will probably take down Tapu Fini right now. <clears throat> but Nihiligo comes in, outspeeds Coco now, outspeeds Landorus. Which is about a uh, potential Blizzard here. Which we kind of want to avoid if we can. There's a Thunder. Serena avoids! It's into Serena this time. Hmm. That's interesting. Landorus does hit. So we can definitely get the Landorus this next turn. Rock Slide coming out. Tapu Fini should outspeed everything now. So we can just faint the Landorus again. And this was a lot harder for us to lock up than we really needed it to be. Especially after that great start. Um, but we are going to be able to hopefully like close this one out. 4-0 victory here would be amazing, but I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. My opponent's not having the best of luck with these Thunders either. But, I mean, it is a risk to play when you haven't got the rain. There's a Protect from the Landorus, um, so we were right in going for that Faint again, just keeping the pressure on, and as long as this Icy Wind hits, it should take this Landorus down with it. Um, yeah, Icy Wind, and then no matter what happens here we've got Nihiligo to come in and deal with that Coco so Finny again putting in so much work for us today which is incredible Landorus going down 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 and Tap Coco going for the Thunder does hit this time is it going to make a difference can it take the Finny out it can Finny you did so well come back to your Pokeball rest up and we'll bring in a good old hmm. who wants the glory I think I think Kurum deserves the glory today. Kurum definitely deserves the glory. All the glory in the world because of that ho or -Oh knockout. It wasn't even a critical hit. It's just insane. Um, here we go. We'll just faint once again. Just Serena showing it's just really good utility as well with that faint. It just doesn't give your opponent an opportunity to, to have any space in these matches. So Coco not protecting because of the, the faint there and uh, there it is and the Earth Power now going to be able to pick up the clean knockout. So very good game to my opponent and I don't think I could have asked for a better way for us to send off this Kieran White team today. So thank you so much to my opponents. Over the last couple of weeks, thank you so much to each and every one of you guys at home supporting this this channel, supporting these episodes, and hopefully enjoying them as well. Do leave your comments down in the comment section below, and uh, I'll I will look forward to reading each and every one of them because I hope you've been as as hyped about this episode as I've been. It's been a very exciting one, and I put it up there with one of the best ones that we've had on the on the on the channel. Honestly, it's been a great one. So I hope you've enjoyed it. But before we go anyway, guys, there is a big competition running at the moment on flinched clothing. So all you need to do if you want to get all of this lovely merch that's on your screen right now is hop over to flinchedclothing.com, scroll down the homepage, find the join the flinch squad, which is our mailing list. So it's another another name for our mailing list. Just sign up there. You'll be getting all of our offers, any new products that are coming out, sneak peeks at things, our blog posts before they go up onto the website, all lots of nice things. So joining up has its perks. Um, all you need to do is join up before the 1st of March. So the 1st of March it closes and we'll do the draw for the winner on the 2nd of March. So if you want to enter that, grab some flinch merch, go ahead. It's going to be fun and good luck to everyone that has. Right, let's end it guys. It's been so, so good. I've been just, yeah, I'm a bit overwhelmed now and I'm a bit sad that we're saying goodbye to Kieran. But go ahead, try it out. 
and let me know what you guys think of it. Um, I think this is as good a build as we can do within it. It battles with the team. So it's been incredible. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you all with a brand new team on Monday. So stay tuned for that and uh, stay safe. So until then, guys, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.